So what if interest rates were 18 to 21 percent? Welcome to your Money Monday! I'm Rich Motts. Welcome to Money Monday, session 369, brought to you by the Motts team with Cutler Real Estate. Yes, back in the early 80s, rates were actually up 18 to 21%. I mean, they averaged like 18% on average for almost a year. So it was wild times. And yes, I was licensed. It was crazy, crazy times. And last week we talked about the cost across time. So actually looked at the average rates, you know, cause people are all saying, oh, these high rates, that's what's changing the market. The rates are not high. And we'll talk about that some more here, but you look at the cost across time there, the interest rates. And then we looked at what a thousand dollars could buy you in 1985. It could buy you a $95,000 home in 2000, a thousand dollar principal and interest would buy you 134, five home. And today at seven and a quarter, you get 146.5 for your money. So rates historically are not too bad, especially when you look at this. That is nuts, isn't it? See that big spike there in the early 80s? That's what I'm talking about. That I saw rates in the 21 percentile, man. It was nuts. So what did we do then? I just had to pivot. We did land contracts, did lease purchase agreements. We did assumable mortgages. And then owner financing. So that's how we made it through the times. And guess what? People still had to buy and sell homes and we found a way to make it work. So if people are complaining about rates, this is some reality for you right here. And again, you look at what you can buy now compared to years past, especially there virtually was during the 18 to 21% time, lenders weren't lending money. We were just selling real estate any way we could. I mean, cash also worked, of course. So yeah, look at that crazy, crazy time in the early 80s where rates were averaging over 18%, and I saw them up at 21% at that time. Another thing, remember, you marry the price and you date the rate. So yeah, what you buy it for is what you buy it for, but you're gonna be dating the rate. We know that rates are gonna be coming down as this recession wraps up. Historically, a recession, actually, you know, rates, Lowering rates is what heals recession. So it will happen, folks. Hang in there. And when that does happen, Team Fastlane, who we partner with at the Mots team, they actually gonna offer a no cost refi. So yes, you can refi like six to 12 months later at no cost, and it's gonna be the key to be able to have that available too. So if you're interested in buying a home, go to buywithmots.com and get your free guide to buying a home summer of 2023. If you want to sell a home, go to sellwithmods.com to get your guide to buying of summer 2023 or selling with uh, summer of 2023. And if you're interested in your home value, go to yourincreasedhomevalue.com. That is yourincreasedhomevalue.com or call myself, Rich Mods, uh, Megan Atkins or Heather McArthur at 330-708-7875. Thanks so much. Have a great day.